Hello, this is Angela with Parkas Permaculture. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add scale mail scales to a knitted project. This tutorial is specifically to support folks using my dragon mitt pattern, but the technique for adding scales will work for any knitted item where you want to add scales. When working the pattern, it's important to note there are no scales on the palm. So when you see the scale chart, it is only for your first needle and the back of the hand. How do I know if I'm ready to add a row of scales? Well, this pattern has one row of scales followed by two rows of plain knitting, followed by a row of scales. You can see here there are three Vs, one from where I added the previous row of scales and then two plain rows of knit. So I know I am ready to add another row of scales. Now the scales here are small scales. There's a link in the description to where you can get them. I'm using a set of highly polished gold aluminum scales and a brushed gold as well. I'm at the start of my row here and you can see I have a buffer of three stitches along either side of the scale repeat. I'm going to knit those plain. The reason for this is that if the scales went all the way to the edges of the glove, I found them to be uncomfortable and they kind of slump off to the side. So I have my buffer and now I'm ready to begin my scale pattern. You can see that alternating rows are staggered and offset to give the scales a more realistic look in the finished mitt. The scales are actually purled into the work, so bring your yarn to the front. I'm going to insert my right needle purlwise into the first stitch on my left needle, and then I'm going to drop a scale over the end of that needle. Let's show you again in slow motion. Drop that scale over. Next, I'm going to purl the stitch and the scale as one unit. Next, I'm gonna do a plain purl stitch. This will help anchor that scale and keep it laying flat. It also gives enough buffer space between the two scales that they don't overlap too much. Now it's time to add another scale. I'm gonna insert that needle, purl wise into the stitch, drop a scale over and purl them both together as if they were one stitch. That next stitch, once again, is just a regular purl stitch. It helps those scales lay nice and flat. Now I'm gonna add another one. Again, put my needle in purlwise into the first stitch on my left hand needle. I'm gonna add a really high polish gold scale here, drop it over the needle, and I'm gonna purl them both together as if they were one. Now the scales are not flexible, they're made out of metal, so keep your work up toward the end of your needle and you may find it helpful to hold the scale with your left hand thumb while you purl it so it doesn't slip off the needle. After experimenting with lots of combinations, I found that five scales is the right width for a youth large up through a women's large. So every set of mitts uses 120 scales. Now these are the small size scales. If you were to knit a more delicate project and need to use tiny scales, you will need a needle that is a much narrower diameter. So for this project and this size of scale, I need to be able to slip the scale over the end of the needle and that limits how large I can go. A US size 7 is about as large as I can use for these needles and for the tiny scales you're looking at a US 1 or 2. This method of purling the scales onto the work allows them to lay nice and flat but they still have movement to them so that you can wear them as a mitt and have full range of motion in your hand, wrist, fingers. Okay, one more time, slip the needle in purlwise, add the scale on top, purl them both together as one unit, then purl one additional stitch to anchor that scale into the fabric. Okay, let's take a break and check our progress so far. Looking pretty good. Now let's compare it to a pair of finished mitts. 
the wow factor goes way up for these mitts once you actually put them on. The three-dimensional geometry of your hand really shows off the organic, lifelike quality of the scales. Now, these scales, again, confined to a strip down the middle, five wide, and I have the edges free of scales so that you preserve all of the full range of motion of your hand. I wanted these mitts to be wearable, practical, and also a little bit glamorous and a little bit low-key cosplay at the same time. Thanks for watching today. I hope you feel more confident in adding scale mail scales to your knitted project. If you're interested in purchasing my Dragon Mitts pattern, the link is in the description below. Thanks.